When starting any new game, it's useful to familiarize yourself with the user interface, and this video will help you walk through that process. We'll start at the top and work our way across. So at the far top left, there's the star map icon. If you click on it, it will take you to the star map where you can view other stars and planets out in the universe. Clicking on it again will take you back to your planet map. The next icon is your mail icon. This is where you can read in-game email. Clicking on it will bring up the mail interface and clicking on a message will allow you to view it. From there you can archive that message and the messages that you archive are always available for you to view later. It's just sort of to get it out of the inbox uh, as messages build up. You can archive lots all at once by cl selecting select all and click archive. Now they're all archived. The next button is called the profile button. It allows you to make changes to your account. So for example, I can type I can fill out the description for my empire and uh, I can also let people know what's going on. I can fill out information about me if I want to share that with other people. And I can go in and see what medals I've earned. And this will also allow me to change what medals are available for people to see. So if I don't want people to know, for example, that I've built a Malkud farm, or what type of planet I have settled, then uh, I would uncheck those. In the Species tab, I can see what species that uh, I created initially, all the attributes of that. In the Notes tab, I can just enter notes about myself. Now, this will be mainly useful later on in the game, like if you're doing research and uh, and found out that one of your enemies is at a, at a particular location and you want to write down some notes that you just want to save in the game and not on your regular computer. And then finally, the account tab allows me to set the sitter password, which is a password I can give out to other players that I want to manage my account, for instance, if I go on vacation. Um, if I click in that field, it will show me what that password is, and I can change it. Likewise, I can change my existing password. The next tab is the Essentia button is actually to allow you to use in-game currency. Essentia is a form of mineral that is very rare, and you can gain it through the game, but you can also purchase it. If you click on this, you can go to the Get More Essentia tab where you can purchase it for money, or if you have an Essentia code from uh, another account that you had created. Once you have Essentia, you can spend it on various things here and throughout the user interface. Each one of these boosts will actually increase the production of that thing by 25% per hour for seven days. So if I were to boost, now I do not have five Essentia, if I, but I did, and I clicked Boost here, it would allow me to increase the production of all of my food on all of my planets by 25% for seven days. It's a very cheap expansion. The next icon is the self-destruct icon. And this is if you want to stop playing Lacuna. Uh, so you simply click on that icon. And then 24 hours from now, your, uh, your account will be deleted. Now, at any time, you can always just click it again and you're no longer in self-destruct mode and the next shows you your empire name the next is uh, allows you to invite a friend it's very simple you just type in your friend's email address and type a personalized message to them to let them know uh, why they should join the game and send the invite. So now they'll receive an invite and a code with that invitation. That code will allow them to register their account in the game with you, which will allow them to start near you in space. And that's very important later on in the game. You'll want to be close to each other.
You can click the tutorial button to bring up a series of tutorials, both video and uh, text-based, and this particular video is in that list. Uh, the support button will bring up the website where you can talk to other people in the forums. The stats button brings up stats about the game. So who's playing, what their ranks are, all of that sort of stuff. If you want to see the credits, you can click the TLE button. And this button logs you out. Then over here on the left, there is a menu to allow you to scroll around on your uh, planet. Very simple. You can also zoom in or you can zoom out. Also very simple. At the bottom it shows your resources. First is food. It says that I have 50 food per hour that I am producing and that I have 1476 food in storage. The next is ore, water, and energy. Then I have the name of my planet. From here I can click on that and view the list of all of my planets and select one. Then how much waste that I'm producing per hour and storing. And I'll want to keep this under control, but early in the game it doesn't matter. How much happiness I have. And happiness is very important if you want to colonize other planets. And how many plots are available on the planet. Plots are these squares where I can place buildings. Now, there are lots of plots available as far as placement goes, but that's just to allow you to organize your planet better. There are 121 spaces where you could build a building, but you can only have, in this case, 44 additional buildings beyond the two that I already have. And that is the user interface.